Thank you once again for joining us on another uh, segment of the Summer Heat uh, Boxing Series. Uh, coming straight from to you from Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, we have uh, a, a card that's stacked full of talent. Uh, a lot of a lot of up and coming fighters from all over the country are going to be on this card. And when with us today, we are uh, we have the pleasure of having and joining us uh, Jesus Vasquez. How you doing, Jesus? Pretty good. How you doing? Thank you again for having me. Definitely, man. Thank you. Thank you for giving us some time on on your on your weekend for this beautiful Fourth of July weekend. You got any big plans coming coming up for the for the fourth? Um, not really. We we're about to go watch uh, the fireworks here in a bit, and tomorrow probably just go swimming. Take the daughter swimming. That's pretty much it. Good deal. Good deal. So, Jesus, uh, for uh, for those of you that uh, that don't know you in Colorado boxing, I mean, uh, you you were a standout amateur. Uh, tell us a little bit. Of, tell everybody a little bit about your your amateur background out of Colorado. So, as an amateur, um, I had close to 200 fights. I had a 183 or something like that. Um, I was a four-time national champion, um, competed at the highest levels that there was in the amateurs. Um, I was, for the 2016 um, Olympic trials, I was a bronze um, and four-time national champion. Um, and uh, so you made, you made your, your jumps into the pro ranks uh, tell us a little bit of what you see. That's what. What do you think is the the biggest difference going from amateurs to the pros? It's just like uh, going from like doing a sprint and going into doing like a marathon. I feel like that's the that's the difference from amateurs and professionals. You know, you gotta you gotta do more rounds, obviously. So in the in the amateurs, it was only three rounds. You go in there try to score as many punches as you can, and that's how you win the fight. And then in the pros, it's a lot different. They score it a lot different. So you want to be able to to last, you know, more rounds, be more in shape, and, you know, please yeah, adjust. Good deal. So, so um, that, that, that's, a, that's a good point. That's a good point. I think uh, that's where a lot of uh, uh, top-notch amateurs have a hard time they struggle because they were so successful in the amateurs, mm -hmm. um, you know, with that style that when they go to the pros, it's hard for them to, to change that style to the pro style. But you have a pro style, uh, uh, you know, uh, your technique, your style is, is it, to me, it seems more like a pro style uh, anyways. You know, uh, what do you what do you categorize your style of boxing? Um, I would call myself probably a boxer puncher. You know, um, I like to, to box. I like to move, hit, and try to not get hit, counter, stuff like that. Uh, what, what gym do you train out of and, uh, and your coaches? Give a little shout out to your coaches. Yeah, for sure. Um, I train out of Denver Police Brotherhood. You know, I've been there since the, since the beginning, um, close to almost 20 years probably. I started when I was like eight, nine years old there. and. Uh, yeah, my my coach right now is uh, Leroy, Leroy Miller. Um, he's been with me for close to ten years now. So, yeah, Leroy's a good guy, man. We he's uh, we've known Leroy for a long time. He's a good friend of ours, and uh, he definitely uh, is doing uh, he's doing good by your side. Uh, he's uh, he's got you on the right track. Um, and so uh, uh, you know, growing up as an amateur, you know, you've been boxing for a long time. And uh, you know now you're now you're you're you've been in the pros for for quite some time now. What uh what what drives you? What keeps you going in this in this game? Because it's not an easy sport. The discipline behind it to get ready for fights. Um, you know the dedication that you put into this. You know there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, things that people don't see. You know behind the scenes, behind the curtains, as they say. You know, uh, everybody sees the glory and they see you when you're mm -hmm. in there putting, showcasing your skills, but they don't see what goes into the grind. So what keeps you driving? I feel like now more so is, is more about, uh, you know, my family. You know, I got a, I got a, a five-year-old daughter now and she's my biggest motivation. So I would say now is more about her than me. Back then it was more of me, you know, just like glory, 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 seeking glory. 
and that's what motivated me, you know, but now it's more about her and just good. trying to, make, you know, proud. Good, good. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a good driving force. And uh, she'll definitely be proud when she, you know, when mm -hmm. she gets to see, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure it's a good feeling. How old is your, your daughter? She's five years old now. She just turned, well, not just turned, she's probably like five and five and a half now. Good deal. Does she go out to your fights? Has she been out to your events? She's been to a few of them. Not not any of the last ones, though, because they all been, you know, out of town. Um, the, my last one, like I said, was in Kentucky. And then before that, we were out in Mexico, just doing fights in Mexico. So she's probably going to go to this one since it's a little bit closer. Good deal. So this is probably going to be her first real memory of, of seeing, her, seeing her pops in the ring. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's cool. That's cool. So, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, as far as as far as, uh, uh, how, you know, your amateur background, you started when you were young. You know, how, how did you get started in boxing? Um, So I used to I've always kind of been, you know, infatuated with like uh, combat sports or, or, you know, that sort of thing. Um, when I was like six years old, maybe even like five. I used to do like karate for years and I feel like, um, you know, I was just a little too aggressive for, for karate since it's not like actual fighting. Um, I was a little too aggressive and I was actually like, uh, punching the kids there and stuff. And, you know, the coach there or the sensei, whatever you want to call him, you know, he told my dad about it and he's like, you know, he, you should put him in like boxing or something, kickboxing. He's like, I think he'll do really good there. And I was like, sure, let's try it. He took me to, to a gym. This was in, in, in Los Angeles. And, you know, I just fell in love with, with boxing. Deal. So are you originally from, from LA area? Yeah, I'm from Los Angeles. How long, uh, so uh, what age did you move out to Colorado? Uh, most, I, I think I was like 10, still. And your family, your family's, where's, where's your family from? Um, they're from Santa Maria del Oro, Durango. It's a really small, you know, city in, in Durango. There you go. Shout out to all my Duran Duranguenses. Toda la raza allá de Durango. Todos los alacranes de Durango. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, um, you know, when you come out to music, uh, do you do you come out to, you know, what do you come out to hip hop? Do you come out to your to, to some Mexican roots or what do you what do you come out to, man? Man, I'm all over the place when it comes to walkout music. That's what everybody always tells me. Like one day I'll come out to like Vicente Fernandez with my with my uh, sombrero, and then other days I just I just put on a regular T-shirt and just come out to Kanye West. Just whatever I'm feeling that day, I guess. Now, so tell us, uh, you got you got this fight coming up, um, you know, July 17th on the Summer Heat uh, Boxing Series. Um, yeah, tell us a little bit about your opponent. You're fighting a guy named Jose Antonio Martinez. He's a rugged, rugged guy. What do you know about him? So I don't really know much about him. All I know is, you know, he's a he's a Mexican and he's a, a veteran with a lot of experience. So, you know, I already know what what I haven't really seen, you know, footage on him, but just by like, you know, his experience, I already know what what type of fighter he's gonna be. Um, you know, and I know he's going to be tough, but yeah, I don't really, I don't really know, know much about him. What, but weight, uh, what weight limit are you guys, uh, are you guys, uh, clashing at? This is, this should be a, uh, junior lightweight bout. Okay. And, yeah. uh, and, uh, how many rounds are you guys going? A uh, six rounder. Six rounder. Mm -hmm. Good deal. How many six rounders have you already been in, in Jesus? I've been in three so far. You know, um, something happened in, in my last fight. It was supposed to be a six rounder, and then it went to a four rounder for some reason. But yeah, it should have been another six. But I'm 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 re I'm excited to get back to to the sixes and hopefully moving up to eight after this. Good, good, good. What do you uh What do you feel is your is your forte as far as going into this into this fight? Um, I just feel like, you know, I just I just want to fight in, in front of, you know, Colorado fans again. You know, that's what is 
was exciting me so far about this show is that you know it's close to Colorado and a lot of people are gonna are gonna go down there and, and watch it live. Not too far, just on the other side of Fort Collins, so it's just a hop skipping away. I expect a, a, a packed house for sure, man. And and uh, so, do you have a do you have a ring name nickname? Um, yeah, I go by uh, Sabroso. So, Sabroso. Um, El Sabroso. It doesn't really translate as cool in in English. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just like going by Sabroso, El Sabroso or Sabroso. So uh, how'd you, who, 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 uh, who gave you that nickname? How'd you get it? So it was, this was like way back when I was like a young amateur. I had uh, these two coaches that were just like talking about me when I was sparring. And they were just talking about I have the sauce, I have the sauce. And they just kind of came up with, they were like, we'll just call them like Sabroso. They're like, how do you say tasty, like, or sauce in Spanish? And they were like, sabroso. Somebody says sabroso. They're like, oh, we'll call them sabroso. And it just kind of just stuck to me after that. I kind of I kind of picked it up, too. I liked it. And it's actually pretty cool if you go, um, I mean, sabroso in English, you probably use more like, a, a, um, it's not really like tasty, but it'd be, um, it'd be. Uh, Some, like he got the sauce. Yeah, saucy. Yeah. There you go. Saucy, man. Sauce. That's a, that's a good one, man. You know, Jesus Saucy Vasquez, man. That's pretty cool. Hey, hey. Down. I like that. Yep. That's Hell cool. yeah, man. Any, uh, any sponsors, uh, you want to shout out, uh, you know, sh shout out to, to people that, that, uh, that have helped you through this journey. Um, uh, right now, um, a big one of mine is, uh, the coldest water. Um, they're a big sponsor in my camp. You know, El Wapo Tuxedo is also sponsoring me for this event. And um, Athletes Solutions, which is uh, Nike Boxing. They're also uh, sponsoring me. So shout out to, to all them. Thank you for everything. So how's, mm -hmm. how's uh, training camp been uh, for this one? Have you done anything different? Or is this, is this just uh, another day in the office for this training camp? Um, not much different. You know, I was already training a little bit before, you know, this fight was, uh, was announced. So, you know, as, as soon as it, it was locked in, we just stepped it, we just been stepping it up more and more. So not much, not much different, you know. Has it been difficult finding uh, uh, opponents to step in the ring with you? Jesus, I know, I, I know uh, you, you have you have a big following, and you have and everybody knows who you are. You have, you know, uh, your reputation your reputation uh, uh, precedes you. So you know everybody uh, knows the the caliber of fighter that you are. The, the, has that been difficult in your boxing career to find opponents? Yeah, it has. You know, and, it, and I feel like um, since it, there hasn't been a boxing in Colorado, obviously. You know, it's been really difficult to, to get fights. You know, you have to go, you know, out of country or out of state. And um, like you said, you know, they they know they know who, who I am, they know they know my name. So, you know, it's it's pretty difficult. In Mexico, not not so much, because they don't they don't really they don't really care over there. They don't they don't really know American fighters as much. Who do you anticipate is gonna be the loudest one there? Do you have a lot of like tios and tias? That are that live here in Colorado, or do you have a small family here in Colorado? Um, I feel like I used to have a lot more in in Los Angeles, but everybody kind of you know migrated here. Um, especially because we always talk about how how amazing Colorado is, so they they just you know they take our word and and they came out here. So yeah, I feel like now I have a lot of family here in Colorado and a lot of supporters too. Um, who's and, gonna be the who's gonna be the loudest one, so that we can at least right now uh, uh, let them know that uh, uh, that we appreciate how loud they get. <laughs> who's gonna be the tia that's gonna be screaming the loudest? <laughs> um, <laughs> man, I don't. It's hard to say. I I feel like they're they're all gonna be loud. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, you've seen some of those. Uh, you've seen some of those YouTube videos where where the mom jumps in the ring and hits the, the opponents with, she gets in there and gets some of that action. They're trying to back up their son. Do you, yeah, you ever see your mom doing something like that? <laughs> no, I actually wish 
my mom doesn't even go to my fights because, you know, she's one of those moms that's like, no, nah, I don't want to see it. You know, she, she's still, she's still like that about, about me fighting, you know, but after, after the fight's over, if I win, she'll be like, all right, let me watch it. You know, <laughs> she's one of those moms, but you know, she supports me, but she just, she doesn't want to be there. It's always hard, man. That's always the hardest <laughs> thing uh, for family members. You know, it, it's, it's, difficult to see your family uh you see you see your kids up there um you know it, it's 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 a, i know it's it takes its toll and it's not an easy thing for mm -hmm. them so um you know shout out to moms for hanging in there this long for these many years of of of, of you boxing so yeah for sure i understand now that i have kids i'm like i don't know if i'll ever let my daughter box you know but if she likes it I have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There mm -hmm. you go. Well, Jesus, uh, you know, any anything else you want to let the people know? This is your time. Uh... Um, the only thing I got to say is uh, show up, you know, support us. Um, I already know that I'm going to put on a hell of a show. Um, so go support me and I'll fight for you. I'm going to make sure you, you get your money's worth and you get an exciting show. There you go. Well, good deal, man. Definitely, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be an action-packed show. Um, it's been it's been a long time coming now. I know the fans want to see you fight. Sure. Um, so it's going to be exciting. It's going to be a it's going to be a, a second fireworks display. That's for sure. I can guarantee you that. For sure, man. I'm super excited. You know, hopefully, um, boxing is back in Colorado soon. So. Definitely. Yeah, we're looking to come back to Colorado as soon as this show's over. Uh, we start looking at dates and start figuring out what it's going to take to put a show on here. But uh, until then, man, hey, I appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us, uh, giving us a little bit of insight um, on what's going on in, in Sabrosito's uh, uh, life and, um, you know, what what is coming up on this on this show. So, you know, um, to all the fans and everybody out there, uh, you know, hit them up call us for tickets they're online go to uh uh you know we'll put the link we'll put the link in the description of where you can buy tickets online of course you can get them at the gate itself but um i think it's just like our last show there's going to be a sold out show make sure you get your tickets early um there's going to be a second fireworks display definitely and we look forward to seeing you in the ring again jesus and um july 17th everybody come on out to the summer heat of boxing series in cheyenne wyoming at the red Lion Hotel and Conference Center. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing night. Um, if you guys um, also want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram or even TikTok, it's uh, Real Sabroso. And that's it. Real Sabroso, there you go. Make sure you guys hit him up. Uh, follow him on his social media. Uh, this, this kid's definitely one to watch. And um, Colorado Boxing is back. And Sabroso is back. Here we go. Jesus Vasquez, oh, July baby. 17th. Everybody come out and support. Support your local talent. So support your future prospect. Future, uh, future. He's already current prospect, future world champion. Come on out and support everybody. Thank you very much. And uh, this is uh, signing out from, uh, from Ghost Town Promotions and Chichamecan Promotions with A1 Pro Summer Heat Boxing Series. All right. Thank you again for having me, man. Right Good on, to see you Thank again. you, bro. We'll talk to you later, brother. Thank you. Right on, man. Later. Later.